what is the reasonable person standard? You might have heard of this because whenever there are lawsuits, one of the legal tests that come up is what would a reasonable person do in these circumstances? And have you ever noticed that you can talk to a bunch of people and nobody agrees on what's reasonable? Especially when you talk about politics, whether it be President Donald Trump or President Joe Biden, do people agree on whether their conduct was reasonable? No. So first off, who decides what's reasonable? That's a big question when going to a lawsuit. Well, it's the judge unless there's a jury. And then usually the jury will decide what a reasonable person would have done in similar circumstances. But let's face it, some reasonable people get drunk, act foolishly, are tired at times, have poor judgment, make mistakes. Couldn't you argue that under a reasonable person's standard, hey, mistakes happen. The law says no. The law says it's not just any old reasonable person, it's a prudent reasonable person or a reasonable person acting prudently. So, not a reasonable person who's making mistakes, who's tired, who's negligent, who's not thinking about things, but rather a reasonable person who's prudent, intentional, thinking about what's happening and doing the best they can, or at least doing what would seem like a proper way to handle something. That's the reasonable person test. And it comes up regularly in negligence cases because in negligence, you have to show four things. First, a person had a duty not to do what they did. And that duty is based on a reasonable person. What would a reasonable person have done in that situation? Now, if the person is a doctor or a lawyer and the question is whether they engaged in malpractice, then we don't just ask about an average reasonable person. We ask about a reasonable doctor in that medical practice area in that jurisdiction. Or if it's a lawyer, we ask about a reasonable lawyer in that type of legal practice in that geographic area. So let's talk about if you have a jury trying to figure out what a lawyer should have done, how are they to know? This is how. The parties in the case bring in experts. These are attorneys who know what that answer should be and they explain it to the jury. So the jury can decide what was reasonable, but they can do that based on the knowledge presented by the expert lawyer or the expert doctor speaking about what the standard would be in that particular profession. So what is the reasonable person's standard? It is usually what a reasonably prudent person would do in like circumstances. And for a professional, like a doctor, a lawyer, accountant, or any other architect, engineer, any other professional, it's what would that type of professional in the geographic area where they're located and in the field where they practice, what would that professional do in similar circumstances? If the person in the lawsuit, the defendant, did not act as a reasonably prudent person would in similar circumstances, then they are typically going to be liable for any damages that occurred. Essentially, they had a duty to act reasonably, they breached that duty, and then whatever damages they caused because of that breach, they'll be liable. All right. If you haven't already, subscribe at aaronhall.com slash free. You are welcome to check out our channel where we have all sorts of other questions from business owners and the answers provided to you. I do these videos as a public service, as a way to use my knowledge as a licensed attorney to help business owners avoid problems, spot issues to discuss with their attorneys, and improve the likelihood that you will have a successful company and successful life. It was great being here with you today.